It is impossible to overstate the significance of GPUs to PC gamers. However, it is not always easy to determine which card will provide you with the most pleasing experience. Getting a GPU that offers the best value between cost and performance isn't as simple as just shopping online. Because of this, in today's video, we will reveal the best GPUs you can buy in October of 2022. Let's get started. The best value GPU, NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super. Although the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Super seems archaic compared to the Ampere cards available today, you shouldn't discount its capabilities. As of October 2022, the NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super is the most superb GPU option available within a budget. According to Tech Radar Benchmark, the 1660 Super delivers an FPS of greater than 30 even in extremely demanding games such as Metro Exodus, where it performs exceptionally well. If you are willing to adjust a couple of the game's parameters, you will be able to achieve significantly higher frame rates. The 1660 Super can keep up with games being released today, but it cannot exploit graphic elements such as ray tracing. The graphics card does not come with specialized ray tracing cores and does not support capabilities such as DLSSS. Despite this, the GTX 1660 Super is your best bet for a low-cost solution that can dominate in the vast majority of games when played at 1080p. You shouldn't let the PCIe version or any other specs throw you off though. A current gaming computer would benefit significantly from an addition of the 1660 Super graphics card. Also, if you're interested in virtual reality gaming, the 1660 Super is a terrific alternative because it exceeds the requirements for the Oculus Rift S, which makes it an excellent choice. The best mid-range GPU, NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070 Ti. Even though the 3070 is an excellent graphics card, it's best that you go with the more powerful RTX 3070 Ti. It's only slightly faster than the 3070, however you can find both the Ti and non-Ti variants for close to the same price. This means that purchasing the Ti model is equivalent to receiving an upgrade at no additional cost. Even though it is a 1440p GPU, the 3070 Ti can have a resolution of 4K in many different games. If you change a few settings, you'll be able to play games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla at a frame rate of 60fps per second. Because DLSS is available, even high resolution games like Cyberpunk 2077 can be played. 3070 Ti is for the reasonable gamer. It is possible that it will not last as long as the RTX 3080, and you may have to adjust a few graphic settings here and there, but the 3070 Ti strikes a price to performance combination that is unmatched by any GPU that is now on the market. The best GPU for 4K gaming, AMD Radeon RX 6950 XT. When it was initially introduced, everyone had harsh words to say about the AMD Radeon RX 6950 XT. The card didn't have a significantly improved performance and had a price of $100 higher than that of the 6900 XT. This is no longer the case though since both cards are now available for around the same price, making the 6950 XT the most superior GPU for 4K gaming that money can buy. You can get the 6950 XT for around $850 on Newegg. When it comes to ray tracing, it can't compete with some of the products that Nvidia has to offer, but other than that is an excellent video card. Several testings have shown that this high-end graphics card is superior to the 3090 when it comes to gaming at a 4K resolution. Considering the cost, the GPU is excellent buy for the money. Any GPU that costs close to $1000 is costly, but this is a significant discount compared to what Nvidia charges for a card with comparable performance. This is the graphics card that you should purchase if you are overly concerned with ray tracing and want uncompromised gaming performance at the 4K resolution. Because it is one of the fastest tested video cards currently available, features such as Nvidia's DLSS are less significant when compared to its capabilities. The best 1440p GPU, Nvidia GeForce RTX 3060 Ti. Compared to other GPUs in Nvidia's Ampere gaming portfolio, the 3060 Ti stands out as an exceptionally potent piece of hardware. The RTX 3060 Ti is the next model down from the 3070 and still has 8GB of GDDR6 memory over a 256-bit bus. However, the clock speed of the 3060 Ti is only 1.67GHz, whereas the clock speed of the RTX 3070 is 1.72GHz. It is ideally suited for 1440p gamers who are looking for excellent frame rates but doesn't want to pay a hefty price. In PC gamers benchmarks, the RTX 3060 Ti achieves higher scores in benchmarks than its predecessor, the GeForce RTX 2080 Super. It is possible for the card to get more than 70 FPS when playing demanding games such as Red Dead Redemption 2 with the ultra settings and 1440p resolution. You can improve your performance in games like Control by using tools like DLSS. PC gamers also revealed that the 2080 Super can be outperformed by the 3060 Ti in old school raster games by approximately 1% to 10%. When ray tracing is enabled, it looks like the gap is a little bit larger but not by a significant amount. 
However, the 3060 Ti shows its true strength in professional rendering applications, pulling out a much larger lead in the order of 40%. It is clear that the RTX 3060 Ti is a superior GPU to use for 1440p gaming. Even with all the sliders pushed up, it can still deliver frame rates in AAA games that are higher than 60fps. With a card like this, ray tracing would normally be a problem, but with DLSS, you can still hit performance marks with all of the visual bells and whistles. The best 1080p GPU, AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT. The fact that the RX 6600 XT outperforms Nvidia's RTX 3060 by a respectable margin and can be purchased for as much as $150 less on the secondhand market is really what matters for this GPU. According to benchmarks provided by Digital Trend, the RX 6600 XT is approximately an 11% improvement over the 3060 when gaming at 1080p in an average of 5 games. It achieved an average FPS of 117.6 across all of our tests, making it an excellent choice for 1080p gamers that use displays with higher refresh rates. Simply put it, it is among the best 1080p GPUs that money can buy now. Even in a game as demanding as Cyberpunk 2077, the RX 6600 XT can produce above 60 FPS even when all the sires are pushed up, with the obvious exception of ray tracing. Best overall GPU, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080. The 3080 is ideal for the uncompromising 4K gamer who does not want to make any concessions. It is far more powerful than the 2080 Ti from the previous generation and is able to maintain 60 FPS when gaming in 4K games such as Assassin's Creed Odyssey, allowing for fluid gameplay in even the most demanding games. Its features could not go unnoticed either. The NVIDIA graphics card is equipped with the most recent ray tracing cores, ensuring video game lighting is rendered accurately. Additionally, the tensor cores can be used to provide dynamic upscaling thanks to NVIDIA's deep learning super sampling. The 3080 provides adequate performance to justify the purchase of this product, and the two features push it over the top of the competitive landscape. The NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080 is the most capable GPU available for playing games at 4K resolution. It provides sufficient capability to manage even the most demanding AAA games, and it does so without bogging down the card with additional RAM that the vast majority of players will not be able to take advantage of. This places it at the ideal position in the high-end market. There you have it, the best GPUs to purchase in October of 2022. The RTX 3080 is an absolute monster and by far one of the best GPUs on the market. But is it the best GPU? Let us know in the comments down below what you guys think. If you guys enjoyed today's video, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below any other video ideas you may want to see in the future. If you guys did not enjoy today's video, please leave a dislike and let us know in the comments down below how we can be more accurate and what we can change to make our videos more enjoyable. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We constantly upload GPU content, so make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out.